I am Kimberly Russell with Faith and Fitness, Mind, Body, and Soul. And I'm going to share with you one of my favorite workouts today. But first, I have a special guest, Mr. Carl Malone, who's going to share with you why doing cardio and working the core is important. Hi, I'm Carl Malone. And I want to talk to all of your clients and friends about fitness uh, and what I do to stay fit. Uh, fitness is one of those things that's inner. You gotta want to do it. You gotta uh, be fit uh, uh, mentally as well as, as physical is what we strive for. But sometimes we get so caught up in I need to join a gym or I need a trainer. Well, Kim, yes, they need you, uh, sis. For me, I'm a big spinning guy, and I love that because I love to sweat. Some people don't like to sweat; they want active. But look, put yourself on a, a regimen. Say to start off this week, every night I'm gonna do 25 pushups. Start the bar low, and you always have someone to strive because the worst thing you want to do is get dejected about working out. Push uh, sit-ups are so important to the core because everything we do is from the core. But just being active, walking. Uh, if, if, if you're working in your lung and you don't need to take a motorized vehicle, just walk. Uh, stairs. Uh, stairs are really good. Up. Oh. Coming down, you don't want to do a lot of pounding coming downhill. You got to realize, most, one of the most important thing is listen to your body. I'm 47. Things I thought I could do, uh, things I could do when I was 40, I don't look to do those now. So now I've become smart about my training. But uh, nutrition, that's just as important. Uh, I'm the worst, but I like training a lot. Put yourself and say, okay, you know what? I'm not going to start ordering all the different foods and taking all the vitamins. What I'm going to do now is start cutting back in my portions of what I'm going to eat. Realizing, okay, and I've done this, I ate bad this week. I need to pick up my training big time. And I say when in doubt, always do cardio. But I was I was looking at the statistics some couple of days ago, and it said that but when you get to a certain age, you can use lose up to five to eight percent a year in muscle tone. So you want to always do some kind of muscle. Uh, people laugh at me. My mom used to always make fun of me and say, all this milk I'm buying for you, boy, I'm gonna start doing my exercises. You know, you can go around your house and pick up things to do a little exercise. So don't get caught up in how much you spend in a, uh, in a club or with a trainer or nothing like that. And really, it's not what you achieve. It's what the person next to you that you bring along the way achieve with you. So this is Carl Malone, the mailman for Faith and Fitness. I'm going to introduce you to a workout that I find very effective. That works the core. That also works your back. If you keep your legs straight, you'll feel it here. You'll feel it in your arms. Start with your arms here. You're going to take it back. Tap the lower back. Bring it up, abs are in, arms up, stick it here, hold. Slowly come down, now tap the mat, come up, stick it here, back is straight, abs are in. Take it back down, shoulders are rounded, only tap the lower back. Bring it up, sit up straight, stick here. Good, bring it down, slowly tap, come up. Stick it here, good. Bring it down, tap just the lower back. Come up, sit up straight, here. Good, take it down, tap, come up, stick it here. Take it down, do one more, tap, come up, hold it here. Good, slowly bring it down. So we're going to demonstrate, Julie Richmond is going to show you exactly how this is done correctly. We'll take it back, tap the lower back, come up, stick it there. And when you're here, make sure you're sitting up straight, straight, do not arch over. Good. Take it down, tap the lower back, shoulders are rounded, bring it up, hold, abs are in tight. Good, bring it down. One more time, take it back. Shoulders are rounded. Make sure you're only tapping the lower back. Good, bring it up. Stick there. 
Thank you, Julie. You're welcome. <laughs> Here's another exercise that's also going to work your core. The arms, the back. If you watch my podcast, you know that I like to do a two-for-one deal. I don't like to waste time. So if I can get two body parts in, that's what we're going to do. And here we go. You take the right foot up, flex, point, flex, and down. You didn't mention leg. This is leg too. <laughs> She's complaining. Because <laughs> I like to do two for one. <laughs> So thanks to Julie, we're going to do extra. Oh. <laughs> Left foot up, flex, point, flex, and down. And this is working the core. You have to sit up straight for this to be effective. Right foot up, hold, flex, point, flex, and down. Left foot, point, flex, and down. And bring your arms up slow. Hold, bring them down, and then we're going to bring them in. Also works your back. Tight and out. Good. Right foot again, Julie. Bring it up. Flex, point, flex, and down. Left foot, flex, point, flex, and down. We're bringing the arms up. Julie's feeling it already. She's compl oh. breathing hard over here. <laughs> Check it down. See, it works. Her <laughs> legs are hurting. Bring it in. Pull your back and your shoulders. Good. Take it out. Hold there. Right foot up. Flex. Point. Flex. And down. Flex. Point. Flex. And down. Good. Bring the arms up. Stick it here. Abs are in. Back is straight. Bring it down. Good. Bring the arms in. The chest and the back. Squeeze the back. No, Bring it out. Good, Julie. Good. <laughs> Straight out. Right foot again. Point. Flex. And down. Left foot. Good. You should put this in your thighs. Right? Yeah. Arms up. Hold. Abs are in. Back is straight. Bring it down. Good. Bring the arms in. Squeeze. Squeeze. And out. Good. Bring the arms down. So graceful. <laughs> My arms want to go like this. They hurt. <laughs> I want to thank Julie Richmond for helping me today. She's Kim. such a great sport. I guess I want to thank Kim. <laughs> <laughs> See how fine she is? You guys do these exercises. It works. She's, yeah, she's going to demonstrate now. So arms up. You're going to take it. Right foot up. Flex. Point. Flex. And down. Good. Her back is straight. Abs are in. Arms are straight out. Everything's working. Left foot. Flex. Point. Flex. Oh, flex. Point. Flex. And down. Good. I'm take delirious. The <laughs> take the arms up. It's all right. They're delirious too. <laughs> Good. Right foot. Flex. Point. Flex. And down. Now you should feel it in your thigh. Yeah. It should be burning or you're not doing it right. On fire. You don't need to do a lot of these. Ten at the most for this to be effective. Left foot. Flex. Point. Flex. And down. Good. Arms up. Hold. Back is straight. Abs are in. Bring it down. Pull it in. I should feel it in the back. And I do. Good. Straight out. And down. Thank you, Julie. You're welcome. <laughs> thank you so much for watching Faith and Fitness, Mind, Body, and Soul. I want to give a special thank you to Mr. Carl Malone for sharing with us some of his favorite workout tips. And to my girl, Miss Julie Richmond, for helping me show you how to keep your body tight. Now follow me on Twitter at Kimberly Russell. That's Kimberly with an I. And thank you so much. Look forward to the next podcast, Faith and Fitness, Mind, Body, and Soul.